What up, everybody? Welcome back to another uh, Arena Cube. Here on Arena. We are, of course, doing best of three because that is a winner's format as opposed to best of one. Which is not necessarily a loser's format, but it is a... Worse format. Let's put it that way. Just banging away on some code. Oh, I don't want to work. I just want to bang away on some code. Did I just take an anointed procession? Like, I mean, I feel like one of the things I like in this cube is having things to build around. Man, sometimes when my part is like, and then you find like the long hairs down on the other side and you're like, why, why are you like this? It's such a, you know what? It's not a big deal. I'll take anointed procession. So, like, you, you want to find these cards to build around, like, Anointed Procession, and then you're like, I, now I can take all the token. How come Best of Three is available? Uh, I mean, I, I don't have a reason, but MTG Arena said by popular demand they they put Best of Three back up. So, nothing that makes tokens here. But Immortal Sun is pretty sweet. So is Elspeth Conquer's Death. Oh, man. The thing is, there's so many, uh, in, like, Planeswalkers that make tokens that I don't really want to pick up a card that shuts that off. I think I'll just take Elspeth Conquer's Death because I think it's very good. Oh, I like a Resplendent Angel. Not, uh, not super. Actually, it makes tokens. So, you know, that's that's actually a pretty on brand. Yeah, I think this card is great. Is that the sound effect that happens when uh, Resplendent Angel comes into play? Because that would be interesting if they made the sound that Resplendent Angel makes. Uh, I think we're just taking Ministrant of Obligation. Actually, Heliod's Intervention could be great here. I love Ministrant, but I think this is a little more useful. And being able to destroy multiple things. Oh, a Johnny. I love an Johnny. This is why we didn't take the... Um... Also, getting three life with uh, Resplendent Angel and Helios Intervention getting life with Resplendent Angel are both great. Uh, this is why we didn't want to take the Immortal Sun. All these picks are very good so far. Legion's Landing, it's not super exciting, but it's actually pretty decent and probably one of the best cards in this pack like if you're just late game making two tokens a turn or if you're making two angels a turn if we happen to get divine visitation that's pretty cool I don't want to work jello everyone yeah you could say that you could say jello I'll allow it <laughs> and rewarded. I would love to take an Oketra's Monument here, but Divine Visitation is not coming back. And uh, this card is really what we're looking for. Let's take Sun Petal Grove. Oh, man. This, this deck's looking spicy so far.
Savage Stomp? I mean, it's removal, right? Like, I don't think it's a seasoned hollow blade. Stomp can kill a dude. I want to know how jealous I should be. You should have said, I want to know how jealous I should be. Oh, Rexage came back? Rishkar's expertise is great, but I'm not sure how big of creatures we're going to have. Like, this is obviously a more go-wide strategy. Yeah, Wolfful is good. Oh, Ministrant came back? Oh my god. Wow, that was nice. Afterlife 2 is great. Oh, I don't know if you... She's, yeah, I don't care about that, but I'll take it anyway because it's a counter card and we have a Johnny, so... Whatever. Eh, I'll take Sky March Aspirant. Sky Marcher Aspirant. Oh, Felidar... Felidar Retreat seems great. Sram's Expertise seems good. Got Scoot Swarm. How's our curve looking? Four drops are fine. Hmm. I'm going to take Felidar Retreat and think Sram's Expertise might just come comes back. Might just comes back. That's good English right there. They gave me a degree in that shit. Gilded Goose makes two tokens. If one of our creature tokens... Okay, it's, it is going to double with Anointed Procession, but it's not going to make uh, angels. Good to know. Garrick does make angels in two of them. I think I just want the goose because it is ramp. And it still does have synergy with things like Anointed Procession. I like Incubation Druid. I think we want more two drops. Karn is great. I think I just want a, a rampy two drop that can tap for other manas. Oh, Thrag Tusk seems great here. Yeah, let's take Thrag Tusk. It is a creature that gains us life. It makes multiple tokens. Elvish Visionary, sure. I don't think we're a Kiora deck. Nothing else in this pack is really great for us, particularly. And Landor Visionary is just a good card. We have Anointed and Divine Visitation so far, which is pretty sweet. Temple Garden? Oh, baby. Oh, but, but uh, Basri's... 
Lieutenant. Yeah, we're taking Basra's Lieutenant. I've been impressed with Basra's Lieutenant. It's just a big creature. It has vigilance. It has pro multicolor. Puts counters on guys, makes other things, does lots of things. And I think there's a higher chance the Temple Garden comes back than the Basri's Lieutenant. I feel like it's pretty clear from our deck that not many other people are in green-white specifically. So, we'll see. <sighs> Collected Company. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's the only thing worth taking in this pack. Could be fine. Hmm, Vivian Arcbow Ranger is very good. Iro in games is pretty decent. Primal Might's also just fine. I'll I'll take survived Vivian. an apocalypse. I will survive you. Scoot Swarm? Oh, Saram's expertise did come back. That's kind of funny. I think it's Scoot Swarm, though. Garrick came back as well. I'm going to take the Archon here. I think it's a decent top end. What side of the Akron War are you on and why should I join you? These are good questions. Come on, Temple Garden. Uh, take Castle, Castle Garenbrig. Maybe we take Blossoming Defense instead, actually. That card's kind of a blowout. Alright, Fiend Artisan. Yeah, still playable. We can sack a token to get a one drop. No, actually, you can sack a token to get anything. It's not birthing. Oh, overgrown tomb. I got real excited. <laughs> maybe? Maybe this one? Come on, one time. Come on, give me that. T Dang it. We could not get lucky, unfortunately. Someone hated it. Oh, but we get a Boulder Lift, Boulder Loft, and Branch Loft pathway, which is pretty nice. The only other cards I'd consider would be cast out. I'm not going to look a land in the face that we have a ton of playables right now, so. Especially knowing we'll never see our precious Temple Garden again. I do like Tangled Florahedron. Riss almost seems like a bomb in this deck, but it is quite expensive. Amiria's Call seems great, actually. Non-angel creatures you control get indestructible, but I want them all to be angels. I mean, there's a lot of good cards in this pack. Riss, Tangled Florahedron. I'm going to take the Amiria's Call. Oh, I, I love Angel of Sanctions. More than I should, perhaps, but nevertheless. I don't think we're a Mirari's Wake deck. We could be a Cultivate deck. I'm going to take the Angel of Sanctions because we don't have a ton of removal. And when you embalm this, you can get two things back. And that's pretty cool. Tristani seems good. Wow, two blue white lands, huh? Okay, I see. Plain Wide Celebration was kind of impressive when we played it. I'm kind of tempted to take it again. So three of these are lands, so we're technically at 22.
Resilient Kenra is fine. It's a 2-2. Two -two. It has it has Eternalize, which is nice because it just makes a 4-4, which means we can either make multiple 4-4s with an Oni Procession or we can make a 4-4 Angel. Um, again, another blue-white land. We'll just take Mouth to Feed. I mean, it's still a token maker. Also a token maker. Actually, maybe we'll take Im Icy Manipulator. Uh, Swift Response is actually pretty sweet. Just destroys any tapped creature at instant speed. The Florhedron and the Wrist both came back. That's pretty hilarious. Uh, I think it's Florhedron. I think we have enough action going for us. I want another two drop that... Like, we have enough late game stuff. Oh, Cultivate came back and Marari's Wake? Oh my god. This is wild, dude. Yeah, I agree with both those things. I think Riss has a higher upside, but Florahedron adds more consistency. I'll take Cultivate. Wow. Imperius perfect? Sure. In the frosty air. It's gonna be like three cuts still. That's a good amount. Wow. Good lord. Uh, I don't think having a 1-1 one -one live for that long is really that hard. Like, we've actually done it before and wrist live for like 30 turns. Like, I just don't think there's not there's not that much removal in this cube. There's a lot of removal. There's enough, but it's not like every creature you, you have gets killed. It was eight, fifteen, seventeen. Um, not including that. And that will probably just play as an eighteen. So what is fourteen, fifteen, sixteen? It's eighteen. Okay. Did I take a Castle Garenbrig at one point? Did I not? That's weird. I feel like I did. Four cuts, huh? Cut blossoming defense. I think we can board it in if like we feel like we want to protect something. Um I do like Rex Sage and Heliod's intervention. I don't think we need cultivate. I don't care about maybe mouth to feed and savage stomp I could see cutting. I think this is probably great. So, just out of curiosity. More white than green, so seven. This is actually even. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's fine. So this is 40. I do actually like Cultivate. I just don't know what to... I don't know what to play instead, to be quite honest. Maybe Resilient Kenra can come out. Yeah, I kind of like that. I don't, I'm not super impressed with Resilient Kenra. We don't have a ton of things to do before turn 3. We only have like 4 cards, but... Oh, we also have Tangled Florahedron, so...
What a fine time, it's the right time to rock the night away. All right. Oh, it fixed. Good. Glad you got it working again, buddy. I'm a little late, but I'll take it. Oh. Whoa, they took three here, huh? Finale for one. Okay. Elvish Reclaimer. Now to put the counter on the goose. Yeah, I'll put on. Oh, Bastard's Lieutenant. Bastard's Lieutenant is the, the card that I'm uh, more suspecting to get killed, so. In the frosty air. Grim Rogrin Triome, huh? Alrighty then. My heart beats in unison with the wild. You picked the wrong fight. Oh, I hit all attack and got in there with the goose. Doesn't really matter unless they play like Swift Justice on her, Swift Response or whatever. But, uh, yeah, another reason to put the counter on the goose instead was to play around that, so... This'll be fun to watch. In the frosty air... Well, I don't want to play Elspeth Conqueror's Death. I, I don't mind keeping up Mika Token or Heliod's Intervention, so... They're also not really doing anything, which is interesting. Well, we're easily going to Elspeth Conquer's Death that guy after you get your Field of the Dead. Everybody has Golos Field of the Dead. Like, it's apparently the, the easiest combination to get in this entire cube. They haven't gotten Field of the Dead yet, but we're going to assume they're going to get Field of the Dead. Oh, look, Field of the Dead. Wow.
they're fit enough to survive. I mean, they're also at five, so... Putting the counters on here is nice, because if they start making zombie tokens, then... Oh, they just die, I guess. All right. Man, if only I had Field of Ruin, huh? Huh? Oh, what up, Tavo? Yeah, we can just smell like this. I hate Feel of the Dead. It's so cold and clammy. It's gross, honestly. It's true. Yeah, this hand seems great. In the frosty. Alright, so we're going to have three, four mana. It might be Resplendent Angel here. One, two, three, four, five. Next one we're going to have five, which doesn't do much. Could play a Johnny, but then he takes two after going to six. Hmm. I'll just play Angel. I think that's fine. Okay, that's a dude. That is a mother dude. Welp. It's got vigilance too, so swift justice. That's a hard creature to deal with. Holy bajolies. Alright, let's just... Boy. Well, that's not going to do it yet. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he got reach. Let's not attack. Oh, boy. God, Elder Gargroth is such a banger. I remember when Rob was like, well, I don't think it's that good. It doesn't do anything when it enters the battle. I'm like, yeah, but it's a 6-6 six, six with Vigilance and Reach and Trample. And you can't really deal with it, so... I think we're literally losing to Elder Gargroth. Wow, really got all the hits here. I guess... Oh, not Field of the Dead. Legion's Landing, huh? Okie dokie. attacks here because maybe maybe next turn if they don't have Valorous Stance we can double block the Gargaroth. Maybe. Do 
to walk the night over. Okay, well. Sure. Oh, they don't have it? I've watched too many Frank matches to want to make that bet. Yeah, it's not... Yep, they're already highlighting the resplendent angel, so. I'm pretty sure this is the beating we expect. Pretty, 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 pretty good. I was not expecting that. Trading a, uh. Yep, that's pretty good, though. What are we doing here? I think we're getting back Angel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make a token, make a token, proliferate. Oh, they're uh, turning it off. Okay, so I can't cast you, but I can put counters on all these things. Shall always conquer darkness. So they're missing a black, but they can easily get it with their reclaimer. I mean, I still don't know who we're winning this game. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the black will be a seven. Interesting. Why not get Blood Crypt, which you already... Yep, these guys are big. I mean, this is a fine trade. I trade a 4-4 four, four for a 6-6 six, six and gain 4? Sure. Oh wow, they didn't kill the 4-4. That's kind of hilarious, actually. Now do you see the benefits One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'd rather just be able to activate this. I mean, we're basically trading this for a 4-4 angel, right? Which I think is actually fine. Because we're also gaining 4 life out of it. And this, um... 
they don't have any flyers right now, so this could actually be our path to victory. I mean, we know there's a 7-7. Seven, seven. I just said we're trading this for a 4-4 four, four angel. Oh, you said Oz and you knew. Got it, got it. We're figuring it out. We're, we're learning as we go. You got it. Escape. Find finality, which kills pretty much everything. Well, I guess we can save Angel and Elvish Visionary. Actually, much of their shit dies too, so... Really glad I kept the six up instead of playing Incubation Druid. So what did they hit? Rimrock Knight, Vraska. Vraska seems good. Solemn, Valakut Awakening. Sure. So, three, four, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's I will worth blocking there. And with more by my side. Well, it's not ideal. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they just take ten here and go to, and go to ten. And we get a four four anyway. So they traded Golos? Oh, wow. That's pretty sweet. Yep, Vraska's gonna kill Resplendent Angel, I'm sure, but that's actually fine. Rimrock Knight seems like a really weird card to have in your deck. Can't even block. Man, Heliod's Intervention is an amazing card in this matchup. Uh, no, no blocks. It's... But uh, uh, Planes is actually really good as well. Seven here? Interesting. Owen oh, and showing and bushels of fun. Valorous stands is always what you have. Where are my cards? None of these things make any difference at all. All right, you have two cards? Sure. We have infinite blockers for the 7-7. Seven, seven. Rimrock Knight can't block at all. You got it. So 
we actually gain a life here? Seems good. Oh my god, come on, dude. I mean, Heliod's intervention is actually real strong in the sense that we can, like, either kill two of these or gain a million life. Oh, what up, Mooch? Okay, they finally have Field of the Dead online. That's good. I mean, we have Amiria's Call, Angel of Sanctions, Divine Visitation, Elspeth Conquers Death, Anointed Procession, which would have been good. I mean, we all got a million cards that we just couldn't draw that game, so... We also have both Rex Sage and Heliod's Intervention to kill the 7-7 seven, seven they have on board. Icy does tap Gargadon, that's true. I mean, we're just going to assume that, like, they're not going to draw it every game. What a dumb thing to assume. <laughs> Have you watched your streams? Touche. Touche. I'll go to one, two. Oh, that's nice. Fine finality is pretty scary against us. <laughs> to knock, mock, rock the night away. Swell time. To go riding on a one horse lay. I like that. Are we tagging with this? Yeah, probably, because we can still use this. Oh, they're just trading. Wait, 
Wait, why wouldn't you make a guy and trade with that guy? I'm confused. Sure. Wrath of God? Day of Judgment? I don't know if those are in this cube. Uh, actually activate this guy. They also don't have a single white, let alone two white. So I kind of want to save Incubation Druid here, but I mean, like, what does this do? It gets rid of these three? It's not even that great, right? I think they were waiting for me to adapt to this. I think this is just... Like, they get rid of two 1-1s here. Totally fine. Tapped, eh? Elder Gargaroth. You got it. Never fails to be an Elder Gargaroth. <laughs> Felt our truth, no lands. Seems good. Alright. Destroy a tapped creature. Vigilance. Thank Fantastic. You. I guess they do draw it every fucking game. Okie dokie. Well. Can you do? Pump this three, four, five. I guess we can just hope they don't have anything. Dimitri, what up, my dude? Welcome back. Thank you for the resub. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. I mean, if they have Valor Stance, we're, we're really getting wrecked here, but... Wow, getting to kill Elder Gargroth this frequently, when, when we really don't have that many great answers to it, is pretty sweet. And we have Rex Age for that guy, okay. That's pretty good. Or actually, that might not be better, actually. I kind of just want to wreck Sage this guy. We have one, two, three, four. We have five mana. What does that get back right now? Not much. Oh, 
All right. Oh, here we go. I mean, all of our lands make two twos as well, so. Wow. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, are you serious? Golos, Elder Gargroth, and make a 2 2. Jesus Christ. Well, at least we have Conqueror's Death for. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana. Not seven, though. Felidar Retreat also doesn't do anything here because we have not drawn any more lands than the, the initial three. We've drawn three lands this game. <laughs> We're lucky to have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Sure. We can kill her with swift response. Don't care about Llanowar Elves. I guess oh, we can make it now anyway. And I don't think we can make a goose here, so. Or an egg, rather, I should say. Okay, so we have to Elspeth Conquer's death this guy, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can Elspeth play our land. Yeah, we can't let them untap with Golos is really the thing. I mean, it's going to suck when they when they play this. your boy. Pass to attackers. I feel like we're pretty far behind here. Oh, Tangled Floor Hedron. That'll do it. So we can go fell at our retreat, make a guy with the Floor Hedron. Alright, so they're limited to what they have on board. If we can survive this turn, we should be...
you know, not terrible, I guess. I think we're going to chump with the goose here. We take 11 here. I mean, we can gain a million. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's... I would say that's that's fine, but it's really they're making two two-twos, so... Like, every draw is fucking gas. <laughs> sure. What is Rex Age kills a 6-6, six, six, actually? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven exactly, so we can plane wide celebration. We can gain 16, go to like 19. Let's get the Elspeth Conquers death back at the very least. Oh, hold on a second. So. <laughs> One of these. I don't know if this is going to do it. <laughs> Block here, six. No, this is exactly lethal, so we're still dead. Yep. It sucks. Lost both games to Elder Dargroth. Cool. <sighs> I was hauling an 80 pound package in the house. I feel like if we hit land drops like a normal fucking magic player, uh, we don't lose that game. And if our opponent doesn't draw the same three cards, Elder Gargroth, uh, <laughs> Golos, and uh, Ovoya every single game, we probably don't lose that game. So, I mean, it must be nice if you can get the same three cards in your hand every single game. Yeah, seems good. Oh, it's even better. Turn two cultivate is better than turn three cultivate every day of the week. Ooh, scooty scooty. I'm gonna get two forests here because we already have multiple sources of white. So next time we can play Scoot Swarm, play land. If 
if I fall asleep, nothing personal along down the road. You know what? I, I was going to take it personal until you said that. So we're not going to play Angel here. We're not going to play a Johnny, I don't think. They're going to kill this guy immediately. It might, there might be, I could see an argument being made for keeping this until, like, you can, you have six. So then you immediately make a second Scoot Swarm. Okay. Oh, it's your boy. Angels versus demons, the classic battle. Is this a demon? I didn't know this guy was a demon. It does not strike me as a demon. Oh, I like a wreck sage. Okay. Probably just playing a Johnny here. Like, if they have, like, find finality or something, I don't want to have a bunch of dudes on the board. And next time we can play Lieutenant and put all counters on all our guys to make it a little bit better. Three, four, six, seven. We could actually just play Amiria's call, which is kind of cool. We actually have a couple things we can do. If we want to drop Amiria's call as a land. Yeah, I don't know what that game was trying to do. Blossoming Defense seems like it'd be good, but I, don't, I haven't seen anything, so. boy. Okay, they got an island now. Our curve's pretty... <laughs> Our curve's pretty good here. We got four drop into one of our two five drops. Did we win the last one? Win the last game and not the not the last match. Oh, Christopher, thank you. I'm gonna block here. I mean, they draw a card, we get two one ones. Seems pretty fair. Like we got a midnight haunting, so 
Oh, now they're gonna counter this. They didn't counter this. This is wild. Light shall always conquer darkness. Now I got a full on lingering souls here. Think I kill one of them? Into the royal one token. Sure. Oh, you got an arena now, huh? I think getting their arena is significantly better than, uh... Now do you see the benefits of peace? Now do you see the benefits of peace? Sure. You got it. Oh, boy. Well, they are going to be able to take our anointed procession or Heliod's intervention. But now we have Divine Visitation, which means this little ministrant is going to gain us two. Two, four, four angels. Yep, that's what I figured. We do have plain wide rebirth. Planar, planar wide rebirth? Plain wide rebirth? Plain wide celebration? Planar celebration? We got the seven mana spell that lets us return permanence to our hand. Wow, they just run out of Massacre Room as a Massacre Room with them. We got that big green thing. What does this do? Exile my graveyard, huh? Eh. That's rough, but... That's the jingle bell smock. Now do you see the benefits of peace? It's two cards. I mean it's rough because those are both very good cards that we want to get back with planar planar wide celebration. Plain wide planar wide celebration. Okay, you're killing a Johnny, I see. Wow. Unfortunate. Humility brings perspective. I shall return. Mm, that's not bad. Oh, I like this because this only makes four four angels with flying, but then they're replaced with divine visitation to into four four angels with flying and vigilance. So. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This is a pretty easy block. I will definitely trade one angel for one massacre worm. Jingle bell rock. Rocking around the clock. The amount of life we can gain is pretty, uh, pretty impressive right here. If any of these three die now, we get two, uh, no, we get, no, it's not, it doesn't double. Oh, dang it. Oh, biscuits. 
Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. They're killing our 5-5, five five, which gives us another 4-4. Four four. <laughs> that's fantastic. Oh, that's good times. I didn't realize how good the one mana green white hybrid one drop Riss. Oh man, everybody in Commander knows how good Riss is. Until I saw you drafting the other day, yesterday I out tokened someone with Helm of the Host on a 4 4 flyer with an only procession by having a. Oh, that sounds bananas. Uh, we have no reason to use our Heliod. We can just double block this guy. Like, I will trade one of these and keep our Heliod in hand. Like, right now, this is what? Four, five, six, seven. We can gain 14 life. See, that's exciting. This guy's got Vigilance and Pro Multicolor. I mean, we could also just kill it. It's fair. But the problem is we can't get through on the ground anyway, so we might as well just use our ground blockers before we use our removal. Like, if they have, like, patient rebuilding, I'd rather just hold this and be able to kill a, an enchantment or an artifact that I just can't deal with otherwise. And if they do have, like, a trick... Like, if they, if they kill one of our guys in response, then I'll definitely Heliod's Intervention in. So by killing the Incubation Druid first, because it has a counter on it, we actually get another Angel, which is just fine. And that's also just fine. Let's say one. Yeah, this is not a card I want you to have on board for any any amount of time. Oh, you're right. We could have killed the Tome, but I didn't want this to resolve and then give them another, like... The, the problem is, like, while this is on the stack, they can't cast instants or sorcery... Like, uh, per like, sorceries or spells, like creatures... So, like, with this is on the... I'd rather just kill this while it's on the stack. Like, they get to keep the tome, but... Alright. Platinum Angel. That's a good one. That is a good one. Now we have to find something. <laughs> That's, that's that's funny. Uh, uh, uh. Address me as Queen of the Dead, please. Don't you just love the story of death? Huh. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is seven. And now I'm wishing I played Tangled Florahedron. Why is Mike skipping work again? He's not skipping work. He's at his job. You guys think these Mike memes are funny, but they're not very funny. <laughs> God. Michael has a real job. He has a job. This is my job. I work here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah. Ah. We also don't want to have to discard. Oh, I guess we can just kill the Liliana, right? Trade? Oh, we can't get back the intervention. I'm an idiot.
doesn't do much against us. Man, can you imagine if we kept the friggin' Heliod's intervention? We'd hit mi we'd hit Midnight Clock, Platinum Angel, and Maze Mind Tome. <laughs> like, the game would just be over. I was so scared about the Bolas' Citadel. Resplendent Angel. Yeah, just take it. You're a friggin' you have platinum angel, bruh. Yeah, you can't... Fascinating. Yeah, you can't pay costs with Bolas' Citadel if you don't have the life. Life is the... Life is a re still a resource. I mean, this is kind of boring. Like, we're just kind of waiting to see if they if they kill us first at 25. Or if we draw something relevant first. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I'm like, that. Well, there's the Elspeth Conqueror's death we were hoping for. So they get one more Ashiok activation. I mean, Vivian would do it because we can fight this. Rex Sage would do it. Golden Goose, three land, two lands, and a Scoot Swarm. Perfect. All right. That's just fine. I mean, they have 11 lands. Well, that's, that's, uh, that's a good one. Oh, boy. So... Is this five for the... I guess it's on the left, so it would be for the forests. So we can make planes here. Might as well make our things bigger.
We have seven cards. One of them's a Vivian, one of them's a Rex Sage. That does get us a little closer to both, I guess. <laughs> Is this real, dude? Literally, Rex Sage, Vivian are, are still left in the deck. That's hilarious. Two of the four cards in our deck actually kill them, and they're going to draw seven cards here with 12 lands on board. So, you know, I'm sure this is going to end well. Watch, they're going to play Ashiok Millis for the last four, and then we're going to die. Ready? Nice, man. Absolutely fucking incredible. Yeah, they die before the Shepherd trigger, but what does it matter? <laughs> we die before that, so cool. Oh man. Fucking amazing. This battle is going to end on my terms. Yep. To the surprise of absolutely no one. What are the odds you draw a third land to cast this Cultivate? Hi. Just staggering to me that, that, that we drew what we did. Brexian Arena. Midnight Reaper? Sure. play Tangled Florahedron here, and then next turn we can go Scoot Swarm into land. Seems good. Make a 2-2. Two -two. Not, like, easiest block ever. So if we go one, two, put a land here, we go one, two, one, two. Yeah, we can do this. Two Scooty Boys. Scoot Boys in the city. Midnight, more like midnight shit, am I right? Interesting. Do we play Divine Visitation and make two... Interesting. Or do we wait a turn? We can go forest, make four scoot swarms, and then every every cre every land makes four angels. God, what's the play here? We didn't see like languish or anything, so I'm not super afraid of that. Rex Sage also kills Nightmare Shepherd, which is pretty sweet. Get your stupid clock. Oh, we can oh, we can play both. So now every every land makes four angels. Yeah, that's pretty good.
What have you got to lose? Okay, so we're just gonna Elspeth conquer his death, that guy. I don't have a land, but I do have a way to get rid of him. And that's pretty okay. I have no reason not to play Goose here, so... They did have Massacre him. They did have Massacre him. Good call. Good call. So it turns out we did have a reason not to play Goose. But I think we're a little too far. Sure. Well, that was four spells, I think. Look like Swift, Amirius, Felidar, and Incubation Druid. Okay. So... So they block here, and they take four. Yeah, this is actually fine. We're just going to kill Ashiok. Oh, they're killing the actual Scoot Swarm? That's the literal worst thing you can do. Because now we still kill Ashiok, and now we have a target for Elspeth Conqueror's death. So, Go get him, Goose. Yeah, we got the Goose in there. Okay, I'll take four. From Garinald. Man, if we didn't attack with the goose, that would have been big game. We could have made a little thing. Alright, that's pretty nice. Alright, one, two, three, four. Oh, if we alpha? Yeah, again, we win. I'm not good at... I'm literally not good at seeing these lines. It's really fucking hard because I'm always worried about the rope. I'm like, let me play as fast as I can. I have literally no incentive. Now I have no incentive to hold this guy because it doesn't die to Mask Worm and we just gave them a free turn. So if they end up drawing, like, something ridiculous that kills our board, I'm going to be real upset. But then, like, we still get an angel out of this guy. We still got a wolf, willow, hate. Like, I think we're fine, but, like, the fact that we just gave him extra turn is pretty stupid. So you're targeting three angels. Sure. And he gets to play a four drop. Sure. Looking for new minions. Care to volunteer? Yeah, this is all fine. Get out of my way already. So we just alpha here. They have two blockers. They go to three. Got to block Thrag Tusk. Got to block a Scoot Swarm. So you take five? All right. Toxic Streamer is BMing the poor blue black player. Oh boy. All right, let's see if we can two one.
Oh yeah, Santa's great. Oh, a one three. Oh, divine visitation. And we got legions landing. <coughs> That's a thing right there, boy. It's immature, but I accept. So you attack for one, but then I attack back for one and I gain a life? Um. Let's do 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 Okay. Live in that dream. You're living the dream. No attacks. That seems bad. Are they playing real fast too? Oh goody. Oh goody. Goody goody goody. Hmm. Well. It's a good card. Close your eyes. And listen to the sounds of the wild. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Hmm. Wolf does make an angel. That's true. Maybe they don't kill Vivian. Oh, yes, Prolifer. You have one counter, though. Are they trying to put counters on other things? That's not how proliferate works, my dude. You just get one. He don't got trample. Yeah, just get in there with everybody. This is not rocket science. Oh, you're going face with those? Huh. Sure. Keep Vivian alive. This is why I don't like people. Okay, that's decent. Um, Will be fun to watch. Unfortunately, the Basri Lieutenant is going to be one one too big this turn. So that is unfortunate. Yep, I don't think it's worth trading here. Really? Ah, time to disappear into the brush. Cool. Yeah, go 
to five here. Oh, good, Aluris. I'm glad I put this in your graveyard instead of killing one of the other guys. Fantastic. Heliod's Intervention. How much life do we gain here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Twelve life? It's not terrible. It's... Unfortunately, none of these guys are... One, two, three, so six. <laughs> We're doing it! Being able to eat Luris here is pretty nice. Just give me something good. I don't know why. Why would you do this post-combat? Why would you let me block? This is very strange. Now you're gonna do it? After you took six and after you let me block Luris? This is all very weird. Seven, eight, still double blocking that guy all day. How about you? That's why it's funny because it's like they do, they literally do make Sarah Angels now. Yeah, this is the easiest block I've ever had to make. Five. Now any draws should be decent except for that one. So now we block two, two. When do we take four? Okay. <laughs> fucking incredible. The amount of fucking shitty draws I've had this game is actually. Go to one. Wow, this is hilarious because we can literally make... This is like a great draw. <laughs> but we still only have three blockers and they have four creatures and we're at one. So, like, it's actually hilariously bad. It's unreal. Wow. <laughs> fucking amazing. <laughs> I can't even fucking... Like, I can't... I Seriously, I just can't even fucking deal with it. Like, it's so ridiculous. We had to gain exactly 12 to go to one. They had to have exactly four creatures. We had to, like, come on, dude. Seriously. <sighs> have you considered drawing that last turn? No. I feel like Tristani should just be in the deck. Oh, me neither. Well, that's good. At least we're on the same page here. <sighs> sure.
And it's gonna take a money. A whole lot of spending money. Sun Petal Grove would be a great draw. Then we can play Angel and Vivian. It was, but it was not a Sun Petal Grove. It's gonna take, they're gonna Glass Casket this, and then we're gonna have to Rex Sage the Glass Casket. They did not do that. You know what? I'm not going to attack. I don't think three damage is worth... Like, if they go Basri's Lieutenant and then they go oh, Grateful Apparition to attack, they make a 3-3. Three, three. I don't think the potential for them proliferating on turn four is worth a single attack. Oh, Chromatic Lantern? Probably going to bust that thing up. Ooh, I like that. I like it better next turn, though, because then we can play it and Rex Sage. We could also just attack and pump. And then if they have, like, Swift Justice or something, we're just in a terrible position. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. really can do it. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. You know that I really can do it. Hmm. It might be Vivian Rex Sage. Rex Sage kill this. Tristani's kind of a pain in the ass. Could just be make another angel and have two four four angels. Seems worse. Well, that seems really good. Wow. Uh, so we have four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can go five in Rex Age. We do want to kill this. Oh, we wanted to kill the giant killer. Dang it. I guess it doesn't matter. We still have Angel of Sanctions. I wonder if they blocked because they thought they fought. It's, that's a thing. Glad I kept Rex Age for that instead of Chromatic Lantern. <laughs> oh, we just win the game. I guess they are at six and they have no flyers. They could tap a guy, but we could just plus them both enough to kill. So, and it's going to take money. I 
I almost kind of want Savage Stomp instead of Felidar Retreat. Felidar Retreat hasn't been super impressing me, especially just because you need lands after, like, turn four. I was thinking Brontodon, to be honest, yeah. What are we cutting? Got a minute and seven seconds left, huh? Maybe a Ministrant. Ministrant's cute, but like, it doesn't fly. We have to have Divine Visitation for it to be really good. Wow. Four green cards and three planes. You know what? On the draw. Thank you. One planes and we got it. We one one green source and we got it going. It's gonna be another planes though, because that's how magic shufflers work. Wow, I am so thrilled to be proven wrong there. Oh my goodness gracious, that was amazing. GM Miller, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Half a year. We're getting there. Okay. You hear those geese? Those are real life geese to go along with the Gilded Goose. Oh, I like that. I actually think it's Legion's Landing and uh, Thrashing Bronto Dawn. Oh, they missed the land drop? No, oh, that's rough. My homies is outside. Michael, are the geese your homies? Oh, we just won the game. 2-1 again. Not too bad. I think our deck was good. I mean, I think, I think our first round loss was pretty unfortunate, uh, and they kind of had it all. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to check out twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. Head over to that link down below in the description and subscribe if you guys want to support the channel. It is one of the few ways that I make money from Twitch and uh, streaming daily at least five days a week. And uh, it's a great way to uh, keep me alive because that's how I buy food and uh, Netflix subscriptions and things and things of that nature. So thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Be sure to click the, the follow, the like, the subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time, guys.